Hello guys and welcome back to my Let's Play Digimon World 2. When we left off, we had just be Master Tranamon and gain entrance to Foul City. But along with that, we found out that the head leader of Foul City was kidnapped by the Blood Knights. And now we have four domains to go search in. So here's one out of four. <coughs> So, I should mention one thing. I have changed out my Digimon because of, well, I was watching season two and I kind of got thinking since some, well, most of the Digimon not that are in there, uh, no, since some of the Digimon that were part of season one that sacrifice themselves for the digi Dustin and they're part of this game I figured I would incorporate them into it so now my Digimon have changed and I have incorporated three new Digimon <coughs> now if you guys don't know what I'm talking about during a uh, season one no uh, the Digi Dustin, no. Well, one Digimon was sacrificed during the whole Myonis Swan phase, and <coughs> during then, uh, Wizardmon was sacrificed to keep Myonis Swan from Myonis Swan from uh getting Kyrie because Myonis Swan didn't. Well, Myonis Swan just had figure out who the last Digidestin was. So, yeah. So, my last one was about to get Kyrie, but thanks to Wizardmon, he sacrificed himself to save Godomon and Kyrie. And then, pretty much, the sacrifices kept on coming on. As soon as the Dark Masters appeared, one of the... Sacrifices was uh, Waymon, who was the first one, and I'm gonna have to cut out accidentally ones on, but yeah, I'll say more later. So, actually, now that I remembered, um, it wasn't Waymon that was first, it was really SOB. I'm gonna have to cut out before I say any more. Alright, so as I was saying, um, actually, now that I remembered, it wasn't Waymon that sacrificed himself first, but it was... Come on! Alright, so hopefully I can actually speak without having to be cut off. So, actually, one of the first ones was Pixiemon that sacrificed himself to... Get the Digidustin out before Pidemon and the other Dark Masters can finish them off. No, it was Chumon. Or Chaomon out. God freaking damn it! Alright, so actually it was Chaomon that sacrificed himself first, not Piximon. Chaomon sacrificed himself to save Mimi from Pidemon killing her. And what, um, you guys probably don't know who Chamon is because he's on top of, uh, Shukamon, the little poop Digimon. <laughs> so that's why you guys probably don't actually know him. And then it was Piximon who saved the Digidustin by, uh, saving them by sending them away before the Dark Masters can actually finish them off. And then it went Waymon, who... Actually, I believe it was Waymon, but... Um, Waymon sacrificed himself to block the incoming attack from Metal Seedramon, who was about to destroy the Digidestin. And, well, before uh, War Greymon could finish him off. 
and then uh crap I be- I can't not remember but I'm pretty sure someone sacrificed himself during the whole Pokemon phase uh I want to say even though that they weren't close uh not at first but uh they really didn't know them but uh Darymon and not Cherrymon but uh, it was Darymon and someone else who after shortly uh pretty much Gained to know TK who was kidnapped by Pokemon to play with them. Uh, they actually ended up, I believe, sacrificing themselves so the Digi Justin could actually get away and save themselves from Pokemon. I know. I seriously want to say there was someone else. But I'm going to have to cut out. Alright, now I remember who I was trying to think of. He was actually in my he's actually in my party. I don't know why I couldn't think of him, but um Saber Leomon, and I'm gonna have to cut out. But um Saber Leomon sacrificed himself himself after uh Metal Edamon came back and tried to kill the Digidust well not all of them, but uh, Joe and Mimi because they separated because they did not want to put up with the fighting anymore. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, Metal Edamon came back from the other dimension where he got sent to because of his fight with Metal Grandmon. But um. Yeah, after he came back, uh, and the whole fighting with Leomon and, uh, Freakity Freak Freak. Alright, so, uh, Super Leomon, after fighting with Ogremon, he sacrificed himself to save. Oh, you gotta be Cammy, but. He sacrificed himself to um, fend off and kill Metal, uh, Metal Edamon after Zudamon put a dent into his chest. And then, actually, pretty much shortly after that, um, when Pokemon was destroyed by. Oh, uh, that's only my mommy. But uh, after Puppemon was destroyed by Metal Garurumon, I'm gonna have to cut this out too. But yeah, after uh, after Puppemon was shortly defeated, I be- Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say uh. Andromon actually ended up sacrificing himself, but no, nah, I forgot he never did. Uh, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. But, yeah, after seeing uh, the episode where Wizardmon comes back in Season 2, I kind of just wanted to kind of make a little tribute video to three of the Digimon. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Oh, come on. They're evil. Evil. But, yeah, like I was saying, um, after I saw that whole episode, I just wanted to um, include three of them in the video just because I was doing this Let's Play at, at this time. And, yeah, I just really like Digimon and... I really liked how uh, some of them sacrifice themselves, and it's just like touching. And exciting to me. I mean, you know, even back then, I 
I was still like told just that like they need to sacrifice themselves to better help them and help them to defeat the dark master so the digital war can go back to peace. Freak But yeah, like I was saying, um I just want to incorporate three of them into this let's play because I don't know, I just really want to, and, yeah. So, pretty much this whole part, trying to save uh, Gingermon, you're going to see me using those three Digimon throughout this whole time. So, yeah. They're really evil. Evil, 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 evil. But yeah, um, after I get to the boss fight, I will kind of say why I picked those three Digimon and everything. And I guess, um, I don't really don't do these type of things, but, uh, I'm kind of wondering, out of the Digimon that sacrificed themselves in the first season, what Digimon, what three of those, uh, five or six Digimon do, did you like? Like, yeah. Just like, why do you think, uh, no, yeah, uh, just pretty much like explain why you like them and, yeah, I don't know what what else to say, but, yeah, just like say what were your three favorite Digimon that sacrificed themselves to help the Digidescent return the whole digital world back together. Oh, they are evil, evil, evil. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, you guys are going to see the three that I picked and everything. And I thought my phone was ringing. <coughs> hmm. But yeah, and I seriously do want to say this again, but I really do wish they would have like put more of the season two Digimon into this, because I mean, like they let out Hawkmon, Armadillomon. And their Digivolutions and their Armor Digivolve and Patamon and Godamon's Digiv- Armor Digivolve. And then, like, they kind of let out uh, Wormon his uh, Digivolution. They let out uh, Pyhildramon and um, who else was it? Pyhildramon his Digivolution. And then then let's have Magnamon, who was a uh, Vmon's golden armor digivolution, which I actually also like. And then um, and then um, yeah, they miss out the whole DNA digivolutions of Patamon and Armadillamon and. Uh, everything, but I am actually gonna have to cut it off <coughs> right here. So in the next video, we are gonna finish up the domain, and I'll see you guys in the next one.